she was, uh, oddly enough, she says she's a terrible singer, but she was um, a concert standard pianist as a young woman. And it's only after she got ill and lost the use of one hand that she couldn't continue her career. She played for the President of the United States uh, as a pianist. So she just well, she is a musical person, and um, it's her whole life. Well, the interesting thing is that her life is, is quite a story. So that's what I want to to put in music. It's her story, her life, uh, and the life of people around her. And I left her and her music alone. It's her life that I was following the path of. Music, as we know, is uh, material, is the food that sustains people's lives. And it was certainly for, for Florence, the, the thing that kept her going, you know, from when she was diagnosed with her illness in her early 20s. Um, I think music is such a wide world. And everyone can find in music a piece, uh, a sound that will heal, that will accompany, that you, that will elevate. I think that's the that's the music therapy for me. But it was the love of music and the love, the passion of the musical world that was completely sustaining for her and all of her relationships. And as we know, you know, in our own experience and working with people, you know, who are disabled or suffering from trauma, you know, music sometimes is the key to unlock, you know, great, great happiness. And she says at one point in the film, uh, if given a choice between uh, music and food, we'd choose music. I think that's what she says, but I've forgotten. Well, it sounds Some, something like that. Yeah.